Welcome to episode 2 of Terraria. In this episode I'm going to fight the Twins, which is the first mechanical boss, or it's one of the mechanical bosses in hard mode. And I've got a little arena set up here where I've got statues to give me health. And here they come. So the Twins are these two eyeballs, uh, similar to the original Eye of Cthulhu, but two of them. And one of them shoots lasers, and the other shoots this green fire. And the green fire seems to be the much more dangerous of the two. So I go after the one shooting green fire first, and try to just ignore the other one. Um, I'm using the adamantite repeater that I made at the end of the previous episode. most part I just have to keep shooting him while avoiding his attacks and then I try to periodically cycle back through that arena so that I can pick up the, the hearts. One issue with these fights is that you have to make sure to finish them before the night ends because at, um, once day breaks the monsters run away. So it's not just enough to maintain a, you know, do, dam do a little bit of damage over time and stay alive. You've, you've got to kill them somewhat quickly. You can tell uh, how far it is through the night based on the position of the moon. The moon essentially moves from left to right across the sky, and when it gets to the right side, then it's daybreak. this arena, I built three uh, railway lines, but like, I, guess I wasn't sure what I was going to need to do. In the end, I only used the bottom one. So now the green fire one is transformed, and he now has this flamethrower attack, and in addition he has the charging attack. And the charging attack does an enormous amount of damage if he hits you while you're not, um, while you don't have immunity from a previous hit. So I think that did about 80 damage when he hit me there. It's only 60. Maybe it's not quite as much damage as I thought. So it's between 60 and 80 damage each time he hits you. And the problem, of course, is that now that he's doing that charge attack frequently, it's harder for me to keep hitting him because his, his movement is so erratic. Meanwhile, 
I need to kill both of these things before the night is over, and you can already see where the moon is in the sky. So, at this point, I was just hoping that if I could finally finish off the green guy, that I would have enough time to go after the other one. Okay, so now that one's finally dead, I can focus on the, the laser guy. And at this point, his attacks are very, his movement is very predictable, so I'm at least able to get my DPS back up. He's transformed to his, his second version, but fortunately he's still pretty predictable in his movement. trying to experiment with whether I could increase my DPS by not moving. But then I take too much damage myself. The moon is almost to the right edge of the screen, so gotta finish him off. Barely able to defeat him before the end of the night. That change in music is daybreak, so I only had about 10 seconds to spare in the end. Alright, let's check out the loot that I got. 24 hallowed bars. You can get between 20 and 30, so it's about average. And 32 of those uh, souls of sight. So, there we go. That's that fight. And uh, that's the end of this episode. And the next one, I'll fight one of the other bosses.